Hello, once again guys, it's Dikeos1 here. Gonna be bringing you game number one of my quest for platinum series. That's right, for those of you who, uh, who didn't know, I did get promoted to gold, so this is my first gold league game act. This is, well, this is actually the first gold league game that I played, and the starting of my quest for platinum series. Um, this will be a ZVT on Entombed Valley. Uh, it seems I play on this map quite a bit. That's alright. It's really great for grabbing that fast expo. That's what I like doing. Keeps my, my macro going. Don't need to really worry about rushing or rushes too much. And uh, yes, so my opponent is going to be up here in the top left corner. Uh, his name is Ren Rendarian. Or Rendarian. I'm not too sure. But that's okay. You can see it right here. And I am playing a sharp teeth as always. I mean, I'm going to be down here in the bottom left corner. So I'm not sure which positions are close, which positions are far spawn. They look pretty much the same to me. So I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Sending up my uh, scouting drone here around the 13 supply. It's pretty decent. As well as I have my scouting overlord heading up to this top base here. It's like two birds with one stone, you know, you're scouting like a third as fast as you normally would because there are three bases and you're scouting one while you're scouting the other two. So uh, efficiency, it's good, nice and efficient. And yes, as you see here, grabbing my 15 hatch, going to be grabbing a 16 pool just to increase my economy, going to be throwing that, out, that down any second now. Um, well, actually no, I still need another 100 minerals, but that's okay. And my term opponent is going to be grabbing just a regular standard opener, making that wall off, a couple of supply depots, and a barracks. Yep, there goes my spawning pool, and I immediately follow that up with a with a got excuse me, wow, sorry, with an extractor had a huge brain fart there. Um, yes, grabbing the spawning pool, immediately following it up with a with an extractor, going to be getting that that fast zergling, fast speedlings, speedling timing, which is really good with zerg against Terran because of course Terran can get their reactor hellions, and he is grabbing his factory right as we speak, or at least right as I speak, that is. And here I do, or here I am coming up. Um, I do end up. I I uh, I don't see his tech for some reason I just clicked on the ramp and that was as far as my little drone here my little buddy decided to go so I don't actually see him in the base but I know he, I know he's not in any of these other positions and I do have my overlord here so when he does throw down his expansion I will know oh there he goes kills it off you can see the little little drone skeleton there on the ground nice high quality graphics this time rather than the like lower medium that there was in quest for gold game 8 which I do apologize for that. It was terrible after <laughs> after watching it. Ugh, it was terrible. Um, I'm getting my metabolic boost here. Going to be getting them speedlings going because, of course, Terran players like to grab their reactor Hellions, which is very good for them. Not so good for a Zerg player that doesn't have any sort of defense. He's also getting his command center, so he is going to go for a, a quick sort of um, expand here. He's just going to get a few Hellions out just to do some harass, see if he can pick off some free drone kills, that sort of thing. But uh, I do have some Zerglings out here in preparation for the Hellions. I don't know if they're coming at this point, but it's just good to have them just for preparation. It's also really good to have this, this middle tower here um, because these guys are going to go right through my line of vision because they can't come around this way because of the rocks, so they got to go right through. And if you pay attention to your minimap, you'll be able to see the Hellions, which is extremely important. Um, I mean, I can't really tell you anything more important than paying attention to your minimap. Uh, it helps you see drops, see little things like this. Uh, I do have four Zerglings in the front of my base here. They aren't going to do too much damage. They don't have their speed. One of them gets picked off, and I do uh, draw them back. I, but I do have both my Queens down here at this point. They'll be good for a good defense. Oh, two more Zerglings. Just get roasted. Uh, but now my met my, met my metabolic boost does finish, so my Zerglings are nice and fast. I'm going to be able to pick off these Hellions without too much problem. There goes one, and down goes the other. 
only losing a few Zerglings there. So it's definitely good in my favor. He didn't do too much damage to me. I've still got all of my drones. And I am getting my lair. Actually, my lair is almost finished. And my opponent here grabbing his orbital command on his second base. Or his natural expansion, which he hasn't lifted off yet. Very smart move on his part. Sitting in the base, getting that Orby. Um, there's no reason you got to move it down to the bottom. Again, two more Hellions. Keeping up with that pressure. Um, I do micro my Zergling back just a little bit. Losing quite a few there. A bit of a mistake. I should be sending this queen down any minute. Um, yep, yeah. so here we go here. I do send, send the queen down too late. This one comes up. Pick off one. He does see my Spire on the field. But I do move... I, I moved the uh, my workers out of the way just in time, and my Zerglings came out, surrounded the Hellion, and stopped him from getting through. Now if you look at his base here, he's, he, has, he has two barracks in production, and he has his starport, and now he's going to be bringing his expansion down. But with this Overlord here, I've got great view of when he wants to put it down, and as you'll see in a minute here, he is throwing down his command center, and I already have Zerglings on the, their way coming up here to uh, try and do some damage to the command center delayed as much as possible uh, I think I yeah I actually end up taking out these this batch of Marines here very easily um, no upgrades for either me or my opponent at this point but he is getting uh, a lot of tech he's Stimpak is researching um, I'm actually kind of surprised he doesn't have it already I mean as a Terran player all you, all they do is stim, stim, stim. I mean, you'd think you'd have, they'd have it a lot sooner. And I have nine mutalisks on the way. Uh, so my spire, of course, did finish. Nine mutas on the way, and I'm throwing in an evil chamber. Going to be getting some upgrades for these zerglings. And I did. Uh, I left four zerglings here just to postpone the length that he has to wait to put down that command center, just by a little bit. And look at all this. Nine mutalisks on their way across the field. That's a huge. At that well, I don't really know how to explain it to you guys other than that's a huge deal for my opponent considering he only has 10 <laughs> He only has 10 Marines. He doesn't have a single missile turret and he is extremely oversaturated in his main here and Nothing There is nothing mutalisks mutalisks like more than an extremely oversaturated uh, Mineral line luckily for him though. He did move his units down he is saturating his expansion now. He took out those Zerglings. But I'm just doing so much damage. Um, if you go to the units uh, units lost tab here, um, I have lost 20. He's lost 18, but most of my units that I've lost are all just Zerglings. So then it, literally one Zergling is 25 minerals. So <laughs> that is huge in my favor. He's lost almost the same amount of units. But uh, he has lost double, more than double now, how many units I've lost. And he, but he does have quite a few Marines, and he should, he isn't actually getting any um, missile turrets down, which he really should be. Um, go to back to the base here, I'm basically just building up some more defensive units. I do have, let's just switch back to the production tab here. Um, I am getting my upgrades from my Zerglings now. Uh, Zerglings with upgrades are absolutely amazing. Even if you just get the one armor or two armor on them, they just do so much damage. Like they live for so long, their DPS is so high. Especially if you, if you get that uh, Adrenal Glands update upgrade. Sorry, with that Hive Tech, I mean, <laughs> they are absolutely amazing. Sending another four Zerglings up here, or four Mutalisks, sorry, up here with the rest of these guys going to be doing some more damage. Um, my opponent's being smart, throwing down a couple missile turrets in the natural and in the main. Also throwing in an engineering base so we can start up with those upgrades. Um, I am grabbing my plus two attack. He, I do scout this drop really early though. I mean that medevac almost gets taken up by itself. I have these zerglings come up here and they're going to do loads of damage because they are, they do have the plus one attack upgrade versus the no upgrades that my opponent has on his units at this point. And I should be sending Mutalisks to deal with that. Nope, I don't. I actually didn't send any Mutalisks to deal with that. 
Instead, they're up here. They're picking off tanks, uh, grabbing a few SCV kills. I am losing quite a few, taking a lot of damage that I really shouldn't. But that's all right. At the same time, I might be taking damage, but I'm also doing quite a bit. He's not mining any gas here, so clearly he's not going for any Thors or anything, because he's mining no gas. I did snipe that uh, that medevac that time, though, which is very key. Medevacs are OP, like you wouldn't believe. No, I'm just kidding. They're not that bad. But um, it does get pretty interesting. And I have 11 mutilisks, mutilisks on the way and 18 zerglings. So that is quite a large force um, being produced right now. Plus, I have these rocks taken down. And you can see my worker unit here is coming over. going to be throwing down my third base on the 14-minute mark a little bit late. Um, as you can see, I have lots of minerals saved up. So the, there's, there's no reason that this uh, third base should have been that late. And I know all my opponent has is Zerg or is uh, is Marines and some siege tanks, which is good against Muta Ling, but he doesn't have this the Marines with the upgrades that he needs. He doesn't even have combat shields at this point. Uh, he's not even getting a research. And I have another 26 Zerglings on the way. Oh my gosh! Um, I am almost done with my level two weapons and my level two armors. About a quarter of the way done. I'm getting my hive tech so I can grab that level three as soon as that's ready and the adrenal glands for the zerglings. And here we go, my opponent is moving up into my base. He's got those marines stimming them with that with those uh, medevacs healing them up. Uh, my zerglings do a fair bit of damage, but definitely not enough. Uh, my mutalisks come in from behind, picking off siege tank. He really should have brought that guy up. Um, I actually didn't take that much damage there for my mineral line. If we go to the units lost. Um, it, it is favoring him right now in resources and in units because he took out quite a few mutalisks there, which is a huge blunder. I mean, mutalisks are not cheap at all, but right here, I do pull ahead, or I guess he pulls this ahead in the resources lost, but at the same time, he's pulling behind because that's not a good thing. And if you look, I, I have all sorts of minerals and gas saved up, just not producing anything really too important aside from just zerglings. Um, I am right now starting my adrenal glands because I do have my, my hive down, grabbing my level three weapons for my zerglings. But I didn't start my, um, my greater spire, which is something I usually like to do because greater spires are really fun to just play around with and well, your enemy usually doesn't expect to see something like that at this level of gameplay, seeing as it is Gold League. Oh, it's so weird saying that. Still not quite used to it. Um, I'm making another six Mutalisks, trying to bring back those ranks. I do have quite a few Zerglings on the field right now. I got 66 Zerglings. Oh my god. They're just going to come in here and just completely destroy these, <laughs> these Marines didn't stand a chance I mean he is just losing so many units he does have that siege tank on the high ground but I am just devastating his mini line I get the surround on his units again zerglings just eating away I don't even have the adrenal glands update upgrade yet and just completely destroying his units with pure zerglings and that is the importance of having upgrades on your units I mean he had zero zero and I was 2-2. I didn't start my level 3 uh, armor because of a lack of Vespine gas because I did not. When I got my third base, I didn't saturate these geysers. But instead, I am getting the adrenal glands and Zerg melee attacks level 3, which is awesome for Zerglings. Makes them just so powerful. But I didn't get any upgrades from my Mutalisks. But they still did loads of damage. And that's why a nice ball of Mutalisks is really great to get especially if your opponent isn't really doing any sort of early harassment preventing you from getting those mutalisks all right thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys later